वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 9.83 सो स्टेटमेंट इज फॉर द बीम शोन डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शन एट बी सो दिस इज द बीम ए बी हैविंग लेंथ एल एंड इट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड बोथ एंड ए एंड बी इज फिक्स सपोर्ट सो व्हाट इफ वी रिमूव द फिक्स सपोर्ट सो डेफिनेटली देयर विल बी अ वर्टिकल रिएक्शन एंड देयर विल बी अ मूवमेंट एट पॉइंट ए एज वेल एज देयर विल बी अ reaction force at point b as well as movement so you can see now here there are four unknowns this is mb clear and we have only one w so this case is indeterminate beam and that is of second degree so how we will tackle that so let's start with the solution so we will convert this beam you can see this is the beam so we will first convert we will remove this reaction at point b and it will be replaced by rb which we are interested to find out and there will be a moment as well so we will write the beam is beam is second degree indeterminant because number of unknowns is greater than given data we cannot apply the equilibrium conditions on that so what we will do we will split it into the cases so i will write the first case so if this beam is supported over here and i represent it like this so if we represent only rb so this is the first case i will write it case number 1 plus if we convert uh, sorry if we draw the second case so if second case is like this so in that case this is the support this is point a this is also point a and at this point b we have a moment of mb so this is your case number Two plus there is a third case. What if I draw the third case? So the same beam like this, and this is the fixed support A, and now there is a distributed load on that. That is W. and this is your point b and that will be your case number 3 so if you add all this case 1 case 2 case 3 you will see this loading as well so we will deal separately each case in order to find the uh, deflection and slope so for that we have to go to appendix uh, d of the book and we will check the first case that is a cantilever beam with one force at the end so you have to go to the book mechanics of material by bear and johnson and at the end of book you have to go to appendices so appendix d is here beam and slope deflection so you will get this chart now on this chart you can see that i will go back because there is no option now there is a notation now you can see we have first case is like that so the beam at x support and the loading at end p but here the p is downward so its deflection will be downward and that will be negative the maximum deflection is this one and slope at the end is this one so in our case the force is upward which is rb so this p will be replaced by rb so it will be rb into l cube over 3e i and similarly the slope will be equal to rb into l square over 2e i both will be plus so note down i will write them over there so for that we will have loading 1 our case 1 loading 1 we have y a deflection y b sorry deflection at point b because due to this loading it will deflect like this clear so this will be your 
yb and the slope of this line will be equal to theta b so we will write them yb for loading one is equal to rb into l cube over 3 ei and theta b slope for loading one will be equal to rb l square over 2 e i so note down we will also match them now we will move toward case 2 so case 2 is loading 2 now you can see that loading at the end is only movement with fixed support at one end so we will again move toward the table so you can see now here this the third case this is the third case you can see there is a movement at and one end is fixed so in this case your maximum deflection y b due to loading 2 will be equal to this one but only the movement will be changed by m b and similarly slope at b due to loading 2 will be equal to m b into l over e i so we will also write them over there so in loading 2 we have y b due to loading 2 will be equal to minus m b into l square or 2 e i and theta b due to loading 2 because due to this movement the 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 beam will also bend like this clear so this will be your y b due to loading 2 and the slope of this line will be equal to theta b 2 so we will write them theta b 2 will be equal to minus m b into l divided by e i now for case number 3 or loading 3 loading 3 you can see that this loading is distributed load with one fixed support at point a so we will uh, write the equation of deflection and slope for that now you can see that this is the scenario you can see the one end is fixed and there is distributed load so in this case you are a deflection y b for loading 3 will be this one and this one will be your uh, theta b for loading 3 so note down them and we will write it over there so y b <coughs> due to loading 3 is equal to minus w l 4 over 8 e i and theta b due to loading 3 will be equal to minus w l square over 6 e i now what we will do is that we will use superposition and constraint clear so superposition and we will add the effect of all this and constraint what does constraint mean so constraint mean that you can see at we have we already know that at fixed support at fixed support you have y is equal to zero as well as theta is equal to zero so these are the constraint so we know that we are interested to find out the reaction at point b so we know that y b deflection at point b is equal to zero but in this condition y b is this one in this condition y b is this one and in this condition y b is this one and their all effects is equal to this one and in here you have y b is equal to zero so it means that y b is equal to zero is equal to y b for loading one plus y b for loading two plus y b for loading three this is two so we'll correct that so their 
sum of deflection must be equal to 0 at point B. So you will put the value Y B1 is this one. So it is RB into L cube over 3 EI plus RB YB2 is minus MB minus MB L square over 2 EI plus YB3 which is WL4 over 8 E I and again this is also minus so we will correct that their sum must be equal to 0 so let this is your equation number 1 because you can see that in this equation we have two unknowns RB and MB so we cannot solve them so we, what we will do is that we will use another constraint that theta b slope at point b is equal to 0 and that due to superposition this theta b is equal to theta b due to loading 1 plus theta b due to loading 2 plus theta b due to loading 3 and if you sum all this this will be equal to 0 because constraint is the b point is fixed so slope at fixed point will be 0 now you have all this theta b1, theta b2, theta b3 so you can add them. So theta b1 is rb l square over 2ei minus mb into l over ei that is theta b2 minus wl square uh, not square this is okay this is l square l square over 6 ei let me con confirm that this is square or not so this is l cube so you have to con uh, i will show you why it's not picking the annotation okay so you can see this is w l cube here so we will correct it this will be also wl cube okay so we will change it over here wl cube is equal to zero so this is your equation number two this also contain two unknowns that is r b and movement now equation 1 and equation 2 are simultaneous equation and you know them very well. So if you convert equation 1 in term of RB and you put it in equation number 2. So I will not solve this. You can solve it easily. Solving equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. You will get r a r b is equal to half of w into l and since it is positive so it means that your r a should be upward clear and movement about point b will be 1 over 12 w l square so this is positive okay so this is positive it means that assume direction is correct which is clockwise and similarly rb is also positive so it means that it should be upward so assume direction is correct so we will remove them in order to remove confusion so i will conclude it that these are the reaction at point b R, B and movement at point B. I hope you have enjoyed this video and again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching. Thank you.